Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use seek bar inside your Android app. So create one empty activity app and inside your activity underscore main XML, we are going to add two elements such as text view. Okay, set it to wrap content and then set one ID for it. Let's say I want to use sorry for the typo I'm just gonna use add the rate plus ID and then text one okay and here you can also use custom text but I'm going to keep it blank so that it will show only the progress if you want you can add content such as Android text here you can use such as let's say I want to use at status of seek bar okay or you can say simply seek bar and later you can rewrite this text with something like status or seek bar status okay so moving on let's also add seek bar set it to wrap content and here we are going to add some of the things differently for example for width I want to use let's say 300 dp and also I want to align this to parents left so Android then layout then aligned parent left set it to true also you want to set this to android layout parent top set that to true as well and okay, next thing we have to work with our margin so layout then margin at the top set it to let's say 26 db Okay. and also Android max to let's say 10 okay so these are some of the things we need to set and finally Android ID add the right plus ID uh, let's say we want to call it seek one okay so we have our text view that says seek bar then seek bar with id seek one text view with id text one and inside main activity java we are going to add declaration for our seek bar seek bar and also for our text view okay right now inside void on create method we're going to declare that okay so seek bar equals to seek bar and find view by id here we are going to point to seek one okay and text view equals to text view and then find view by id r id and let's say i want to use text one okay so we have our id setup we also need to display some initial text if you don't want this one to remain you can delete this one and let's say we can set something here so sorry okay so here I want to use something like status then I'm gonna use let's say seek bar dot get progress okay and then add slash here 
and concat with c part dot get max okay so what it will do is it will show the status from let's say 0 to 10 100 and that is visible because of our text view okay now next thing to do is we have to set action for our seek bar so the action here is set on seek bar listener okay so set on seek bar change listener and then inside that new seek bar dot on seek bar change listener now inside the method what we're going to do is we're going to set integer progress equals to zero and then make use of our progress so add the rate override and then can add let's see public void and then on progress changed seek bar seek bar okay also you can use integer progress value and finally the boolean for from user so when user does anything we can record that okay let me just use override properly okay so inside this we will set progress equals to progress value okay now we need one more method to override okay which is going to be public void on start tracking touch okay so once we start to track the touch seek bar value should change okay and you can use toast here or you can simply wait till method ends with public void on stop tracking touch here seek bar seek bar Here you can use text view dot status progress plus slash then plus and then seek bar dot get max. Okay, so program is pretty much done and okay so you can also execute this program on your real device so if you want to see how this touch tracking works with seek bar i suggest you to run the app in your own device okay